automation provider Smartmatic has recalled 76,000 compact flashcards to be used with the precinct count optical scan machines. The company found a defect in the way the cards were formatted. Despite the setback, the Commission on Elections assures the automation of the election will push through. Vivian Gulia Father support. The testing and sealing of election machines are now on a halt. Even the deployment of precinct count optical scanners from hubs to voting precincts was stopped. Machine provider Smartmatic International ordered the recall of all compact flashcards containing defective data. The software in the CF cards was programmed to read names formatted as single spaced. In the official ballot, however, the names of local candidates were double spaced. Smartmatic Asia Pacific President Cesar Flores says this causes a failure of the machine to read the votes for local candidates correctly during the testing and sealing. Smartmatic expects to replace all 76,000 defective CF cards by Thursday. There's a minimal instruction that that confuses the PICOs on the configuration side. It's being resolved and it will be replaced with new uh, compact flash. The technical glitch, however, has fueled apprehensions for the upcoming automated elections. Former Energy Secretary Angelo Reyes even made a scene in today's press conference at the Commission on Elections denouncing the automated <laughs> Uh, they, will be, they will be together with the people who are responsible for the power outages. I will not be honest if I will say that my, my confidence no, has not been uh, diminished. No? But the Commission on Elections assures the defect was neither malicious nor designed to favor a particular candidate. Testing and sealing will push through on May 7th. Should they encounter another problem, Comelec says they have contingencies. First, you know, we are optimistic that there will be no failure of the elections. We have discussed this in the Commission and Bank uh, this morning. Now, in the event that uh, untoward scenarios would happen, we have backup plans. Six days before Election Day, an unforeseen technical glitch occurred. But Smartmatic says it can be resolved in time for May 10. Kamalek assures the automated elections is still on and the public can expect credible results. Virginia, Various groups have called on the Commission on Elections to act on the reported failure of several PICOS machines in their tests. They say the Carmelec must ensure that these errors would not affect the outcome of the elections. Del de Vera Fadis report. The Makati Business Club calls on the Commission on Elections again to prepare for a 100% manual count following the glitches in the use of precinct count optical scan machines. Ang daming kamalian at this late point, no? Dapat 100% na sila at nagkakamali pa. MBT Executive Director Albert Colin says this is the only way to prevent seating in the May 10 election. Dim adds they expected Comelec to have the full manual count as their backup plan. He says Comelec is not yet ready, but a random manual count is not enough for a big problem such as this. Ang gagawin nila is they will pick randomly five precincts out of 330. Eh baka naman itong five ay walang nangyari doon, pero sa dami ng precincts, baka may nangyari sa iba. MBC expects the problem will arise in the national level, but was surprised when the discrepancy came up at the local level. Meanwhile, Senatorial Bet Gilbert Remulia reminds the Comelec to immediately find solutions to push through with the automation. Another Senatorial Bet, Rufi Biasun, says the current situation is alarming and Comelec should give more importance to it. I would really rather go for an automated count rather than a manual count. Because in my in our experience, kumbaga ako alam ko na may daya sa so mga manual count. Local candidate Benjamin Tria, who lost the vote during the mock election, says he already lost confidence in the upcoming polls. The camp of Manila mayoralty candidate Lito Atienza says 
The problems that arise during the testing of the Picos machine only show cheating can be easily done in the automated election. With few days before the election, the credibility of the automated polls is still being questioned. Comelec still has to prove to the public that their votes will be properly counted. Bill de Vera. Palace officials revealed that President Arroyo is concerned about the current debacle of the Comelec concerning the voting machines. The Commission on Information and Communications Technology has been ordered to find out what went wrong. The report from Roma Agsalud. I said we would finance fully automated elections. We got it thanks to Congress. A legacy that now appears to be in peril. With the Commission on Elections ordering the recall of Pico's machine memory cards, just a few days before the elections, jumping the gun and critics who might pin this again on the president. Wala sino man na nasa loob ng pamahalaan ang nag-iisip at nagmumungkahi na hindi matuloy ang eleksyon o magkagulo-gulo tong eleksyon na ito. Malacanian's confidence in Comelec has never once wavered, despite persistent talks of a possible failure of election. But with these latest developments, South officials could no longer deny that even President Arroyo is worried. It involves the uh, entire integrity of uh, the exercise and uh, it is a uh, serious concern on the part of uh, the, the President herself. Taking a more active role despite her hands-off policy on Comelec matters, the President will now get updates personally from the Chair of the Commission on Information and Communications Technology on meetings aimed to address the faulty Picos machine parts. CICT Chair Jay Chua is part of Comelec Advisory Council. I will uh, assure each and everyone that uh, the President is continuously monitoring and trying to find out uh, what uh, really happened. But while the President may be concerned to the point she's now willing to play a more active role, Malacanang reiterates its confidence in Comelec remains intact. Everything is under control, no need to panic, are the statements South officials issued in a bid to convince both voters and candidates to believe in Comelec as well. Sa ilang sandali ay lalatag na ang kadiliman bilang hudyat na tapos na ang pangangampanya. At pagkatapos po nito ay inaasahan natin na muli nating masisinagan ang bagong araw, ang isang magandang umaga, sa pagsapit ng ikasampu ng Mayo na kung saan ay magpapasya ang taong bayan. An exercise with Malacanang Belize will still be conducted to the country's first ever automated poll. Despite the glitches discovered five days before the election, South officials insist automation is still on and this will be one of President Arroyo's legacy when he down on duty national police in the upcoming elections. More than 100,000 policemen will be deployed throughout the country to ensure orderly elections. More on this from C.B. Javier. Starting 8 in the morning tomorrow, the Philippine National Police will be on full alert status in preparation for the May 10 election. 130,000 police personnel will be deployed in the field. All leaves are canceled during the election period. More than 36,000 security assistance desks have been set up 50 meters from the polling precinct nationwide. PNP says cell sites are also well secured. A total of 571 areas with intense political rivalry and insurgency are in the election watch list. This is about one-third of the total number of cities, towns, and provinces throughout the country. It is also all systems go for the PNP this coming election, as their control center is now in full swing in terms of monitoring, assistance, and gathering real-time feedback. The PNP appeals to candidates to avoid getting involved in any election-related violence. Huwag naman sanang mag-aalitan to the extent na magkakaroon ng mga violent incidents. That's all this is in. Anyway, the, the will of the people will be the ones to dictate who will win. No? Hindi naman madadaan sa awa yan at violence. No? I think our people deserve more than just... Uh, more than uh, the data, we need to be able to talk about the data and the data that we're going to talk about. TV Javier, RPNU. Join our work.
The spokesman of the Commission on Elections joins us now to clarify what happened to the Picos machines and the remedies Comelec will do. Good afternoon, Director James Jimenez. Hi, good afternoon, Jerry. Uh, how fast can the reconfiguration uh, of the uh, compact flashcards be done? Well, we're looking at uh, a timetable of about two to three days. In fact, 